My name is Kamila and this is No Nano. Today I want to talk about how I first got interested in nanotechnology. And sorry if I squint, it's kind of sunny out today. So my first exposure to nanotechnology that I remember was in grade 9. And I had one of those really great teachers who brings in other people to talk about things that he doesn't know as much about. And one of the groups he brought in were talking about learning, actually, and how it's proven that people learn things better when they learn it through multiple venues. For example, when they not only take notes and listen to a professor, but they actually do activities and explain it to a classmate, or draw a picture about it, or recite something, or do some of their own research. And the more different ways someone tries to learn something, the more likely that information is to stick, and the higher the retention of it. So in order to learn all of this, we actually did sort of a case study where we had an article, and we wrote about it, read it, listened to someone else talk about it, drew it, explained it to someone else, etc. And that article, as you may have guessed, was on nanotechnology. And that was really the first time I'd been exposed to nanotechnology. But I was really excited about this presentation, so I came home, told my parents about it, and then promptly forgot about it. However, about a year later, that same teacher gave me a pamphlet on engineering from the University of Alberta. I was kind of murky on what engineering was as a 10th grader, I'm going to be honest. But when I looked at it, I saw the nanotechnology engineering section, and I thought that was about as cool as I thought it was a year before. Really cool. So I actually did apply to the University of Alberta. I decided to go to a different university with a nano program, but I still am really glad that my professor well, I guess my teacher, at that point, gave me that pamphlet. And I just think it goes to show what a huge influence a lot of teachers really have in exposing their students to different possible careers and interests and passions. So I'm really grateful to that teacher, and I hope that I will also help expose people to ideas, things they didn't understand or know about before, and that I'll make a difference in some people's lives the way that that teacher did for me. Thanks for watching! Once again, next video, less cars.